Hey guys, Sean Bucci, surplusfundsriches.net. Want to go over a recent flip we did. I know a lot of you guys only know us for surplus funds, but may not realize this. In late 90s, we were doing flips in really alternative or different ways far before, way before, we were doing surplus funds recovery. And we still do flips to this day, and we still partner with them. We have a deed, we call it the deed flip. Uh, we buy property pre-tax sale. And I'm going to give you a breakdown of a property we just bought a week ago. Well, we buy property pre-tax sale, pay off the taxes to stop the sale. We can also do this with mortgages, but usually it's tax. Pay off the taxes prior to the sale to stop the foreclosure, and then flip the property as is where is. We buy it cheap enough right before the foreclosure that we can make a considerable profit just flipping it as is where is and let the investor that buys it from us take care of the uh, take care of the fix up. We even we leave enough meat on the bone that they can fix it up and still make a profit. So we typically get shells. We buy stuff that has to be uh, either torn down or a considerable amount of rehab done to it. But we can get it cheap enough that it doesn't matter. We can get, pick it up 30, 50 grand in most cases and flip it for 60 to 100. So, and again, that's going after the junk, right? So, recently picked one up. This was in uh, Northampton County, North Carolina. Now, typically what I do is when they say they're interested in selling, I'll crunch the numbers, do the Google map, double check the research on uh, debt, and I'll even look at code information, get everything I can online, then I'll give them a call. And going by what they've told me, I can typically, typically give them an offer. I do ask them to send me uh, pictures. Now, if we're gonna get somewhere with price, because at that point I'm gonna make uh, an offer, I'm gonna say, look, if what you've said's true, if the pictures you say line up with what's going on in there, here's how much I can offer you. But at that point, if they say yes, I'm gonna say, great, I'm gonna send a mobile notary out with the deed and to also take pictures of the property or I'll send one out earlier. I like using mobile notaries because they're licensed by the state and that gives people a good sense, right? They feel good about having that individual come to their property. They know it's somebody that uh, has accountability. So I'll have I'll set that up and in this instance, they were close enough and the, and the foreclosure was coming up so fast I didn't have time for that. I said, look, if everything you said is right, I will come and I'll give you this much money. And I said, okay. So I drove out. It was a three and a half, three, three hours, 45 minutes. It was a long ride. Virginia border. I'm in Charlotte. They're on the other side of the state. Um, I mean, it was as close to Raleigh as it was to Chesapeake, Virginia. Anyway, I drove out and it was in far worse condition than I thought. There was 19000 in taxes owed. Excuse me. I know even in, oh, even in its current condition, I can probably sell it for 50 grand if, worst case, if I clean it out, it was just full of debris and, and furniture, just garbage and furniture. If I clean it out, couldn't see the house from the street, if I have a bush hog and clean up the front yard and there were roof leaks, then I'd have to get tarped at least. So I'd have to clean up around the house. It was on 2.1 acres. I'm not gonna clear out the whole damn thing, but right around the house, clear it out. Uh, tarp the roof and also clean clean out all the debris and all the furniture. And there's a lot. I mean a lot in there. Okay. So we're talking and I said, look, this is a lot worse than I thought it was. And guys, something I, I learned from American Pickers that I never thought I would use, but I've been doing this the last couple of years, last, well, last 10 years. I will tell them, look, this has incredible potential. This is good bones. This thing can be fixed up and somebody can make money on it. I'm probably not that guy. You're too far away from me to manage the contractors. I'm looking at a crazy, and they agree, they, they know, they're living in it, you're right. I said, okay, well I offered you 20, but you've got 19,000 in taxes. That would have put me at 39,000. I didn't realize I was gonna have to do the cleanup, the tarping, or the clear out of the yard as much as I thought, as much as is here. Clean up and tarp and clear out is probably going to run me anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand, depending on how well I do with negotiating with the contractors. I have to assume it's going to run me fifteen. 
That being said, will you take 20,000 for this property? And of course they said, no, I, we just can't do that. And I said, I completely understand that. Now, another thing I learned is you always give people an out, okay? You don't back them against the wall and don't give them an out. You show them the light of where you want them to go. Because <clears throat> I wanted this thing. Now, it had already hit the bid process. North Carolina, there's a 10-day upset bid. Nobody had bid on it, and this was like day three. So I said, look, nobody's bid on it. That also gives me a little heebie-jeebies here, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I said, look, I'm going to go anyway. I'm going to call my contractor. I'm going to call a, a contractor, have him run out and take a look at the property. Now, if you're okay with that. And they said, that's fine. I said, maybe I'm wrong and the costs are way less than I thought. I said, the other thing I'm going to do is right now, since I'm here, you know, and I'm three and a half hours away, I'm going to drive to the county courthouse and check and make sure there aren't code enforcement liens that I don't know about because you guys have let this yard go for 11 years. Literally. I go, yeah, okay. And I said, so if you change your mind, give me a call because I'm just going to be 10 minutes up the road at the county courthouse. And they said, all right. And I turned around and I could literally, in my head, as I'm walking back to the car, go, hey, Sean, yeah, we'll take it. Okay, because they asked me, what'll happen if we don't take an offer from somebody? I said, if you don't take an offer and it sells just for the bid, just for the asking price, which could happen. I mean, there were no bids on this thing in the first three days it was offered. Um, you're gonna make nothing. That's the truth. I was truthful about everything. I said, if you take my offer, at least you make five grand. And it's cash, $100 bills. Now, I already had, they had signed the deed. We'd overnighted that, we'll sent it with a notary and they overnighted it back. I said, I've got your deed, I'll go record it, I'll pay off your taxes. And they said, we'll get out immediately because at first they'd wanted some time. Said, That's great, we'll rewrite the contract here. I've got the copy of the contract too. We'll sign an initial everything. I said, let me run and record and get this and bring the money back. I drove right back, paid him, had him sign a receipt for the for the cash, right? And uh, then they called me over the weekend and said, at the end of the weekend, I said, hey, we're out. It's fantastic. So now I've got the contractors running around and getting everything done. I do think it's going to run me about 12 grand to stabilize and clean it up enough to where somebody can look at it and go, okay, I'm willing to take this on. That's 12 grand on top of 24, so I'm at 36,000 into this. Worst case, I'm gonna get 50 from an investor and I'm probably gonna sell. Once I get this stuff done, which will take a week, I'll put it on the market, it'll probably sell in about a week or two, cash, I'll pay a, pay a flat fee listing, so maybe I'll have to pay another $1,000, $2,000 in, in uh, uh, commissions and the flat fee. But it'll sell very quickly in a matter of a couple weeks for cash. Um, so I feel pretty darn good about that, guys. That's a really good profit really fast. Sometimes it's important that I go over how we do deed flips. Hope this has helped. Hope you have a great day.